Hello back to Motivation and Truth. We want to speak about the Word of God, being Jesus Christ, and as we always say, we want to motivate ourselves into not only reading the Bible and doing what it says, but asking the Holy Spirit who, in, who inspired the writing of this beautiful book, 66 books compiled into one called the Bible, inspired the writing of this so that the person of Jesus Christ could be revealed to us. We're going to speak about this topic today. Love is a choice. Love is a person. And I really hope that while we read these scriptures, you will ponder the thought. You will think about the message. That you will think about and meditate on the scriptures. God does not just love. God is love. It's important that you understand the difference between that. If God only loved us, it's easy for us to think then that He might come to a place of not loving us. If I do wrong or if I choose wrong, then maybe God would not love me anymore. But if you understand that love is the person of God, God is love. Then you understand why it is that Scripture says to us that we are in Him and He is in us. So when we are in love, it's because we are in God. So the beauty of us loving each other and loving into the world is because God Himself as love has chosen to fill us as church with Himself. I'm going to read you two scriptures and I, I want to ask you to meditate on these scriptures and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal these scriptures to you as we read them. This is 1 John 4 verse 16 to 19 in the Amplified. We have come to know by personal observation and experience and have believed with deep consistent faith the love which God has for us. God is love and the one who abides in love abides in God and God abides continually in him in this union and fellowship with him love is completed and perfected with us so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him because as he is so are we in this world there is no fear in love dread does not exist but perfect Complete, full-grown love drives out fear because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment is not perfected in love, has not grown into a sufficient understanding of God's love. We love because He first loved us. We love because He first loved us. God is love. If we abide in love, He abides continually in us. I love that portion that says, In this union and fellowship with Him, love is completed and perfected in us. The beauty of this writing, this piece where John writes to us, is that God wants to make Himself known to us. And when there is fear, it's because of judgment. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14, also in the Amplified, is the second portion that I want to write, I can read. And I hope that this sort of brings the two together for you. Let everything you do be done in love, motivated and inspired by God's love, for us. Let everything you do be done in love. May everything you do be done in God. And then scripture says to us, do everything that you do unto the Lord. Constantly fix your minds on the things which are in heaven, not the things which are on earth. Basically stating to us, be in Him. Be in God. Bless yourself. And go and read the chapter on love in 1 Corinthians 13 as you meditate on these scriptures. 
where you have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.